Hello and welcome to Ants Vienna, guys! When I tell my friends about ant keeping, there are many questions I get asked. Like, what does an ant queen look like? Where and how to catch her? And what to feed her? So, I have decided to make a tutorial series for you. If you are a newcomer, this should help you start your own journey in ant keeping. If you are experienced though, you can refresh your knowledge. Without further ado, let us dive into today's video with a question. Which ant would you guess is the queen here? If you guessed this one, then you were right. But why? In order to answer that question, we have to dig a bit in ant anatomy. Let us take an example on a Cerviformica conicularia work that we saw in last video. In the front, you have the head with their mandibles, then comes the mesosoma, which is very crucial in distinguishing a queen from a normal worker, we'll come to that later, and last but not least comes the gaster, their stomach. Now let us take an example on this Lysius niger queen. Her size is larger than others, her gaster is also bigger especially since Lesius niger is a claustral species. This could differ on parasitic species like Formica roof. And on a closer look, you can distinguish scars on her mesosoma. For those of you who don't know, queens do actually have wings which they break off before nesting. So these scars are left behind. So, queen ants generally are larger, usually have a bigger gaster, and do possess wing scars, which normal worker ants don't have. Hope this helps you out, identify a queen ant when you see it. Stay tuned, because in the next videos of this tutorial series, we're going to cover where, when, and how to catch an ant queen, how to raise your caught queens, into colonies and how to house them. Okay guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.